Welcome to Quarter Vlog. In this video, we will create a blocker in Android Studio. First, I want to show my output of the work. So, this is the output. Allow the state usage state permission. Uh, this permission is for tracking the current uh, running app in your Android phone. Simply allow it and uh, click on back button then set the password uh, this one password will be for all the apps uh, when you lock the app that password will be used I click on the routine app now routine app is locked it with that password now cancel this uh, application and now run the routine app it will ask a uh, password before open the real app so enter the correct password and click on unclick so the app is now running okay now let's talk about coding i have already uh, done the coding now i will explain the coding that how i have done coding of uh, a blocker First of all, uh, all the code are available on my website. Uh, you can uh, check in the link in the description and uh, everything is uh, written here in detail. So everything is available on my uh, website. Now I will explain the coding. First I have uh, created the app list class. This is the journal class. Uh, uh, it uh, it is for the list of the app installed in the uh, Android device. It will show the list of app installed in the Android device, and it contain the information of the uh, icon of the app, the name of the app, and the lock image, and that it is lock and or unlock. Then I have created the installed uh, installed app list. Uh, this is the front end of the this class this is the front end of this class uh, this is same and both things are same uh, this will show uh, icon of the app and the name of the app and the lock icon or uh, unlock or unlock icon of the app then it is lock or unlock then I create the app uh, adapter uh, the app adapter is a bridge between the front end and the back end front end is the installed app list and the back end is the uh, log app activity so let's talk about this bridge this bridge contain uh, these three front end uh, information that is text view that is the name of the app the um, the icon of the app and the log and unlock uh, image of the uh, app so this is adapter and it is used here so and uh, in this uh, log app activity uh, there uh, there will be there is uh, all the coding of locking or unlocking the app and uh, I use uh, SQLite database uh, SQLite database uh, save the pass password uh, and uh, it also save the name of the packages uh, uh, that uh, I have locked it in the in this app so SQLite there are two classes for SQLite database one is the password database the password database is uh, used for uh, only saving uh, one password for all the apps uh, and the apply password on app database uh, is also using SQLite and it is uh, used for saving the package name of the uh, app uh, package name of the app and uh, this is the main activity that will run uh, first that will run uh, first uh, then all other classes will run later so main, main activity I have a code I have uh, one special permission that is a uh, usage state app uh, this permission uh, allow you to use a service of uh, uh, tracking or detecting the current running uh, Android application on your phone so with the help of uh, the current running application 
uh, we can get their package name so we can uh, get the running package name and uh, we uh, check the database that which which uh, app are locked so we get the both package name and we compare it and if it matches so the lock screen uh, lunch lunch and it asks for a password if you uh, write a correct password so uh, you will enter and you will access to the real app otherwise you cannot access your uh, real app uh, so i am using a background services also background services uh, is for it is running indefinitely in the background with no interface and the purpose of the background service is that uh, it uh, uses the database uh, information uh, it continuously uses the uh, database and it uh, comparing the uh, stored package name of the locked app uh, with the running of the running uh, app of the uh, running app in the android application if it matches so it will uh, it will uh, launch a lock screen uh, and then a lock screen will ask a password if you correct if you enter a correct password uh, so you will uh, access the app otherwise you will not access the app this is a simple logic of locking the app so thanks for watching the video if you did not understand anything uh, or if uh, you do not know anything you can watch my website uh, everything is mentioned here in detail and if you want to ask any question and if you have any query so mention in the comments below and if you want to uh, if you want to next video on something on some topic so you can uh, so you can tell me in the comment thank you for watching video and see you in the next video thank you